Whereas most effective skill is still really effective. Oh! Here's Lingard. Drop of the shoulder. Oh! Oh my goodness! What a goal! Oh my god! He'll be doing the moonwalk in a minute. Oh my word. Lingard just has something against Arsenal, doesn't he? This is absolutely beautiful. What a smash this is. Most effective skill is looking to be the most effective skill once again. And he absolutely leathers it into the top corner. That's the best goal I've scored so far. Look at this. Lovely drop of the shoulder. Oh. Drop of the shoulder. Most effective skill. Oh, bends it into the corner. Oh, that is absolutely glorious. Most effective skill. Most effective skill. Which is one of my tutorials coming up soon. Yes, hello, ladies and gents. Welcome to another Pro Evolution Soccer tutorial with your host, Spoonie Pizzas. This is the most effective skill in PES 2020. And it's more or less the body faint. However, it's not using the right analog stick. It's important to use the left analog stick, which I'm going to show you in this tutorial. It's great for sharp turns like this, cutting inside and uh, able to get a shot off. So let me show you how to do this in the tutorial here. This move can be performed by any player, even Ashley Young is displayed here. So I'm just going to slow this right down. So in the bottom right -hand corner, you can see my gamepad. And I just watch the left analog stick. Flick, flick and then hold. Notice that I'm holding the sprint as well after the secondary flick. So it's flick and then your desired direction as well as the sprint. This will help you get away from your defender. Now, when I say flick, I'm saying this isn't a full lock flick. So you're moving your left arm stick probably about halfway. It's not all the way across. So literally it's like a half a, it's like moving your left analog stick to the left, but just half a motion. Okay, do not push it all the way to the left, otherwise your player is just going to turn left. If you want to perform it after a sprint, as you can see with Antonio Martial here, what I do is notice that I let re release the sprint, release my left analog stick, flick half a direction, and then full lock where I want to go and apply the sprint. And again, release the sprint, flick and then hold with the sprint again to cut back the other way so it is important to release your sprint as you're going to perform this move okay i'm going to show you one more example um, before i move into one of my advanced moves so <clears throat> like i said when you're running release the sprint release your left analog stick back to the central position then you flick it half the direction before full lock and sprint applied as you can see there. I will be releasing another follow up video to this to basically chain these together and show you some advanced moves a little like this. So let me slow this right down for you because this is quite complicated to pull off. So I'm just going to be using the finesse dribble. If you've not seen my tutorial, you check out the uh, finesse dribble tutorial with the rat and log stick. Just so my player turns around. Let's just get Marsh, um, Rashford turning around. Then in comes the most effective skill. So it's flick, flick. But because of the way the player is facing and the way I'm moving the left analog stick more or less back on himself, like a 180, he does this quick turn and leaves the ball and the defender behind for dust. And then I'm able to drive at the uh, other defender. And this is another good uh, good time to use the most effective skill. When the defender is side by side with you, just make sure you're not sprinting. And then just perform it to cut inside. Anyway, that's all from me, ladies and gents. Hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget to smash that like button. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.